Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on in to a early Lego Harry Potter Summer 2023 set review. Today we are looking at set number 76423. This is the Hogwarts Express and Hogsmeade Station, retailing for $129.99 USD or $169.99. 99 Canadian and this was sent to me early by Lego slash land to do a review for and I really like this set I think that you'll see as we go through Maybe it's the colors and just it being said in Hogsmeade I, I just love this atmosphere that they've built with that back section I also think that the train itself if you were to compare this to the 2018 one Which I know some people are like, oh, I can't believe we're getting another train Last one was in 2018. That's six years of waves ago. Like, I have no problem with the most iconic vehicle from Harry Potter getting a remake here. It makes sense. And it's set in a different location, too. But if you compare the two, it had one last passenger car. It had six minifigures and did have a King's Cross build, sort of like Hogsmeade. Maybe not as detailed as this, but that retailed for, again, pre-Lego inflation, mind you, $79.99 USD or $89.99 Canadian. That is a pretty crazy increase in price for an extra cart, two extra minifigures, a better station build, I would say, side build, and you're getting the railroad track there as well. So if you compare them, I don't know, it's a bit tough. I think that it's still a little overpriced, this one for sure. But I think that if you look at that aside, it's still a really great set with some pretty cool figures. So let's go ahead and let's take a closer look at this thing. So I'm sorry, but I want to start with my favorite part here being the train station. I think that the design of this, they really captured Hogsmeade station so well here. In comparison to the King's Cross one, I, I wish we had that gorgeous red bridge, which is something I think that is really adds to this location is again maybe it's the color scheme because it's all red right maybe that's the bias like the gorgeous dark red door and just the hogsmeade sign there and we're going to take a closer look but i'm zoomed out here because i want to show you what it looks like from afar you've got this little sign which we'll look at as well but the train tracks here actually can be attached right there in the front i think that's a pretty interesting idea the issue i have with that but when you put the train up here onto the train track you can see, for me personally, I think it's a little too close to the station. I don't know, to me, it's just, a, it's a little bit too close. Like, if I put Hagrid there, you know, the lantern's gonna hit that, and it, it, it obviously, this little section here is a little bit bigger for him to stand and, and display him there, but... I don't know, one more set. I'm probably being too nitpicky, but I do like the concept of actually designing this so that you can attach the station to the tracks that are included in the set. All right, let's look at the station here. I really think that the design of this is great. I love all the little tiles here on top of the roof, the lamp post there as well. And also, you've got this here that you can swap out if you want to do that but then the sign and everything would be facing the wrong way but it it is possible to do that but also i guess you could expand it out if you wanted to as well the platform so i appreciate that so here you've got uh, the sign which looks really cool on that one by six flat tile as well as some plants growing there you've got uh, the little spot for owls to fly in and out of which you'll see when we take a look at the interior but that window can open up got a little light there as well as i love this part here that's sticking out and using these pieces the door obviously can swing on open to go inside you've also got this little hogwarts sign there as well as a clock and these little red buckets look cool. And again, the lamppost there, really cool in red. Let's spin it around, shall we? See what's going on on the interior. So when you walk on through, this is, I guess, the main office. You do have a one by two tile there of a ticket for platform nine and three quarters, as well as a map there on the wall. You've got a fireplace there, a chocolate frog, and maybe a coin. And then over here, I didn't mention, you've got the quill there as well as uh, just a phone and another fireplace. And then you've also got a clock and, and a, just like a filing unit there. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Over here, this is what I was talking about. You've got a owl post, post, I guess I'll call it. Um, so the owls can fly in and out there. You've got the symbol there for the owl post, as well as a letter as there 
on the little platform and then you've got a, a little mailbox there as well with a bunch of other letters that need to be sent on out and then over here on this side we've got a little bit of a bathroom it's simple i like that uh, we've got some graffiti on the wall that says slytherin because you know they're the bad ones and uh, it's also the witch's bathroom that's a pretty cute sign there how they've made that but nothing on that wall just zooming on out here to show you the back, what it looks like, and just in case you were curious if there was anything up there in the attic, maybe they could have done something, but it's fine. Included as well is this sign with Hogwarts pointing that, that way, and then Hogsmeade pointing that way. I think that's really cute. The candlestick build there for the top. Pretty simple build. The track itself, I'm not sure if you noticed, but it had a couple of little tiles and little flower pieces there growing on the track. I think that's a pretty fun addition here to this so I've never had this piece before, but I believe the idea of this is because you don't have the full track that you drive the train up here and it automatically hooks onto the track. I think that's a really cool piece. I had no idea it, it existed. We'll start with the front of the train and I didn't show this before, but you are able to separate each of the different sections there. So here, this looks pretty cool. The only thing that I don't like about this is the fact that this like pole piece here, it, it's, it's completely flush here in the front and then it, jets out a bit there on the side but i really love just some of again some of the parts being used here that didn't exist back in 2018 like that part there looks really cool as well as up above i, I do like the two by three tiles being used there as well so th there's a few things these arches didn't exist there in the front either this is a sticker this is a sticker as well as that there on the front now there is actually a play feature here and you can actually remove this part in the front and then you flip it on upside down and what that allows you to do is it'll be able to turn there so i think that's that's pretty cool that they give you the ability to detach that anyways everything else here the wheels and all that they are pretty normal i don't know why the the center one isn't turning with the rest but uh anyways here in the back you can see there's no prints or anything there. You've got a couple of dials and as well, a little bit of the fire. And the idea here being you can't fit a figure inside, but you can have him standing there and attach him that way, which still works pretty well. Here's the next section here. You've got uh, a shovel to, of course, stoke the fire. And uh, it's it's simple. It's, you know, it doesn't have too much going on here, but uh, you could put a figure there as well if you wanted to. And you've got a sticker there on that side and one on the other side. Here are the two passenger carts. And they are actually a little bit different, not just in the stickers and everything there. So I'm going to remove it and we'll look at the last one here in a second. But uh, this one's got a sticker there for the Hogwarts Railway. You've got this sticker here as well as the other one on the other side. And then, uh, yeah, one of the sides, and I think it's this side, is actually removable. So you can remove the roof just like that. And then the front part of the wall is removable. And you've got a bunch of spots there for everyone to sit down. The issue with this, though, they've all got short legs. So they're all standing up. So it doesn't really work for them sitting. They should have done what they did with Rivendell and used that build that they created for when short-legged people are actually sitting down. So... I don't know. That's a bit of a miss for me. I think that they could have maybe created a system for the chairs or something to make it look a little better since they're just standing on the seats. Here's the second cart. The only difference being the set number there and then on the other side as well it being repeated. And then same thing here. The top is removable and then you pull down on that wall, give you access here to the inside. It's a little bit different. The front part here is the exact same, but the back is not because it's got a spot for the trolley and for the trolley witch to sit there with her cart. And here's the trolley witch cart. It's simple. It doesn't roll, unfortunately, but uh, again, I think it's meant to exist this way so you can actually put it in the different carts and everything there. But uh, here we've got uh, a bunch of different treats on the top, as well as this cool print there on that one by one flat tile. And then you've got uh, this here on the other side. Let's start with the Hogwarts Express crew, shall we? So here's the conductor and he looks awesome i love that torso printing and it's a dark red probably bias but i'll accept that i like the back torso printing there as well the hat there in that color is pretty good and then also you've got this face and that's actually 
Alan Grant's from Jurassic World Dominion from last year. And here's the trolley witch. Got a cool looking torso. I like the pattern there on the collar as well as it continues here onto the back. The face print there isn't new or anything. Included in a set for the very first time in minifigure form is Magnitude. I mean, Lee Jordan. Pop, pop. Uh, community reference there, same actor. But anyways, really cool that finally we're getting him. Unfortunately, the hairpiece used. Oh my goodness, would Mateo's from Dreams have been perfect in black? Ah, oh, what a missed opportunity. But still really cool to get him here for the first time. He's got a little frog there. The torso, of course, is the same as everyone else's from Gryffindor. But uh, removing the hair, you could see his little smile there. And then he's got this little sad, concerned expression. Awesome. I want to look at Hermione next because she's the figure that I was really excited about getting here. One of the ones. And I, uh... Didn't get the new face, unfortunately. I actually got this as a spare piece in the same bag as Hermione. And sometimes when you're missing a part, you get a duplicate of another piece you shouldn't be. So that's what happened here. Thanks to my friend Swift Bricks. I'm actually using the pictures here from her review, which you should check that out as well as her channel. I'll link that down below in the description. But I love this face. Finally, since 2018, she's got a new face there, as well as this really funny expression there on the back. And I'm just really sad that I don't have it, but I'm sure it'll appear in other sets. But I'll have to wait and see if I like order it off of the Lego replacement parts. But anyways, back to this, though, I, I do want to mention one thing, and it is that she's using the skirt piece there from Trolls, which is awesome. If I remove the skirt, just to show you, it's actually triple molded. It's got dark gray, black on the top and the bottom. And then this is what the skirt looks like. Hermione's not the only one to get a new face. This is a brand new Harry Potter. And I love his giant smile that he's got on there as well as this coin piece. If I remove the hair, you could see he's also got this other face. And I believe that's supposed to be his repaired glasses there. And he's just got his regular smile there. And the torso isn't new or anything, but awesome. Two new faces. But poor Ronald Weasley is, just like in the films, getting hand-me-downs. He's still using the exact same head since 2018. Those oversized pupils. But, yeah, it, it's fine. You know, come to expect it, right? But he's got a sandwich there, as well as if you've never seen this face from 2018, this is the scared expression on the back. But he needs a new one. And Draco, too. Why not? Give them all new ones, right? We've got the Slytherin robes there and that face and hair that he's been using since then. And removing the hair, you can see his back head printing and the torso printing. And last but certainly not least is Hagrid. And he's got everything that he's had before. Nothing new, I don't believe, there for him minifigure-wise or fig fig-wise, in-between-wise. <laughs> um, but he's got this awesome two by two tile that is not a sticker that is indeed a print and it is the photo there of harry and his parents when he was a baby that is awesome love that they printed that as well as he's got this lantern and if i remove the beard there you could see his face print there no second expression no back torso printing or anything but important inclusion for the scene well, there you have it, everyone. That is my review of the Hogwarts Express and Hogsmeade Station. Again, I think it's a great set, but not one for that price, I would say. It's a little too expensive, but some excellent minifigures in here. I really love the train station. I think that the train itself, it's good. And the tracks and all that, it's fun to have those parts that I've never had before. So overall, I think that this was a very fun experience. It was the one that I built second because I was really looking forward to it. I really, really am impressed by this set itself. Not the price, but be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on future LEGO Harry Potter set news and reviews just like this one. And I will link a couple on screen if you want. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.